I don't know if you can relate to this, but all these red pill YouTubers, they're telling you, don't get a woman, don't jerk off. And I'm too telling you, don't jerk off. But listen, I'm, I just feel like in a modern man's life, jerking off kind of builds character because you have to get off of it. Not because it's good for you, jerking off is bad for you. And at best, at best, you don't never do it, but at best, at best, you once did it or you did it for a long amount of time. You were addicted to it and then you turn away from it. And the part where I say then you turned away from it is probably the most important part because if you don't turn away from it, yes, 100%, then it's completely bad for you. But I respect a man more who tells me I have been addicted to porn and I have done that. I have been addicted to porn. I have been addicted to jerking off. I had a day. My, my daily life was like that. I woke up, went to school, came back home, jerked off, ate with my family, played video games, go to bed. And I repeat that for three, four years. And I wasn't a man, but what made me a man, what made me evolve in my life was turning away from it and was all the struggles that it took for me to get through this. So I don't think you should lead a completely sinless life. A sinless life doesn't develop character. You can turn away from sin and that's good. That's the point. The point is that you develop as a man by sinning and then repenting. This is how it works. You don't never sin again. The only sin that can't be forgiven is a sin that isn't where you don't ask for forgiveness. And I think it takes character to get down on your knees and to ask Jesus for forgiveness for, for your sins. I'm not saying sins are good. Sins are bad for you. But if you sinned in the past or if you sinned in the past, don't think, oh, I, me I messed up now. I should have never sinned. Ah, oh, mm. Right? And this is the thing I'm talking about here. You shouldn't see a woman as a sin. You can make it a sin. Sure, you can commit sexual sin with her. You can, commit, you can commit adultery with her. Right? You can lead her into wrong worship or into Satanistic worship, whatever. And she can do the same things to you. Let's keep this in mind. Yes, women can be bad. Yes, jerking off can be bad. But it can also be a blessing if you turn away from the falsehood of sin and turn to God. And that is what we need to implement into our lives again. We need to see how, my, how many sins I, did I commit and how, from how many of them did I turn back. We should all take kind of gratitude in how much sin we had in our past lives. And of course, we shouldn't strive for sin. You shouldn't sit there and say, oh, I've never sinned. Let's go sin a little bit. Let's go fuck a woman in the club. Let's go fucking up to an abortion rally. Let's praise Satan, whatever. No, no. But if you have sinned in your life, which all of us have sinned in our lives, no one is perfect. But if you have sinned in your life, take not, not don't take pride because that's a sin too, <laughs> but Take gratitude in how much you are able to turn away from sin. How many sins you have turned away from already? How many times do you ask Jesus for forgiveness? Don't ask it as a minus. Don't, don't think of it as a minus point on your scale. Think about it for as a plus point. Think about it as good. You turned away from the sin, not as bad. You had to turn away from a sin. And this brings me back to women. Yes, women can be sin, but money can be sin too. It just depends what you do with them. So should you date or should you not date? Yes, you should date. Yes, you should go out and meet women. Yes, you should do this because women are a part of every man's lives. You shouldn't turn to the red pill because it's mostly bullshit. It's mostly trash. Back then it was good. Back then it taught us to have standards, go to the gym, be disciplined. But nowadays it just says things like, you don't need women. Be for yourself, king. Just work on yourself and you'll be good by the end of your life. Do you want to be the rich millionaire who cannot feel love anymore? Yes, you can buy yourself a, a woman and have children with her, of course. But if you can't feel love, have you actually lived? Ask this to yourself and not only ask yourself these autistic questions that everyone asks themselves. 
everyone asks themselves, okay, will I be satisfied with what I achieved? Will I be satisfied with how much money I made in my life? Will I, will I be satisfied with my achievements? But I'm asking you today, will you on your deathbed think I have lived or will you think I have just obeyed habits and rules and laws? Don't be rebellious, don't be foolish, don't be an idiot. Don't break the law of God just to break the law of God. But if you've broken it, ask for forgiveness. It's nothing shameful to do that. It's nothing shameful to sin and turn back. It's nothing, there's nothing that I delight more than in a man who sinned in the past and who's now sin free because he asked for forgiveness. Write your sins that you have committed in the, in the comments and ask for forgiveness. Everyone should see that all of us are sinners. So write down how much you have sinned in your life in a journal or if you want to motivate a brother in the comments of this video. Share your sins, lay them open and ask God for forgiveness. Have a nice day and may God forgive your sins. Master your mind.